for Arnold to lose. Or we could just see a double FC on this map. That also works too. This is eight stars, by the way. And okay. Yeah, whatever. I'm done commentating. I'll see you guys later. Recap Malichewski, Arnold, and Kacha. Who is getting the sweet CC jackpot? Let's get right into it. Reed vs. Ristol was a real nail biter. They are top tier tourney players, after all. It's doing alright. It's doing alright for now. It's gonna require a bit more than that. Gonna require to hold on for just a bit longer. Reedka as well is holding on through the section, but the score lead's gonna be shifting over to Malashevsky now. If he misses at any point here, though, this could go back over to Reedka just like that. Misses at the end. Chain miss Whoa, at the end. Oh, no way. Malashevsky bounced back nicely with an FC. Reedka on this map. Feeling way more confident on this. Unfortunately, he's just going up, up against one of the best tech players in the game, in uh, Malashevsky, and yeah. He's hitting this ending. This score is honestly just so stupid for Malachevsky. What is this accuracy, man? What is this? In this match, a lot of breakpoints happen. Ristol's near FC brought him to a close lead. He's still on 99 FC. Still just chilling. After all that warm up, the speed in this ain't gonna be too much of an issue for Ristol, apparently. Yeah, it's a lot more focused on the aim. There are a few space bursts, as we saw, but Reed Cat, unfortunately, did what was that miss? <laughs> <laughs> Then Reed's slightly higher combo made the equalizer. But if Reed Cat continues to hold on and not drop that many hundreds, should be a fairly just about Ooh. win for Reed Cat here as we get into the ending. And another close pick led to the tiebreaker. This could get very dicey towards the end of the map here. Yeah, it's not over yet. Both players with a bit of combo too. We gotta hold. It's just barely at the end of the map here. Malchevsky dropping is gonna seal it. Tiebreaker. For the first time, Risto will not win a CC tournament. Reed clutches the victory. Give this point away. He wants to keep playing. And keep playing, he will. Man, Just like that. Tell, that means so much to him. Look at that shake. Reed Cat's top three. Arnold was doing well to win his first big solo international tournament. He won the first point on his TT specialty or grand finals of any tournament, someone who will completely dominate the field on these types of speed picks, far and away better on a lot of extremely high BPM stuff than nearly anybody else in the tournament scene. Finally finds a break there, right at the end of the map. I was doing my best to curse him there. Took long enough, finally found the break, but 900k plus, 98%, one slider break here for Arnold. Incredible first pick for him. Karcher equalized and even got the lead on a super close call. Act drops because Arnold's still holding close to 99.5 right now, 99.45 for Arnold as we go into the last sliver of map here. 20k score lead for him as well. Combo lead for Karcher does exist, but it might not matter with that accuracy lead for Arnold. Arnold drops the act on the last stream! The very last stream! He drops hundreds and Karnold as Karcher. Karnold. He followed it up with a crazy play, what the heck? And that is the full combo. Arnold was at a huge deficit and needed to somehow crawl back into this match. Favorite to win this matchup, Karcher looking so, so good in this match. Oh, wow. That's... <laughs> what? Oh, man. Uh, mm, mm, uh, mm. And yeah, that was too late. Arnold needs to take the long route. Literally 4k points of difference as we enter the last section of the map. This would be the worst case of deja vu for Arnold if this is how it were to end. No mod 5, the very first breakpoint in this match was decided by an act drop for Arnold. Oh it's gonna be God. a miss at the very end as well! The last jump pattern for Arnold on Hidden 1 and the last... 
both Reedcat and Arnold were looking for revenge against Carter, and Reed with his one missed play tried his best. Finding the consistency at the at the great moment there, but not much you could do when you're against a hard rock player like Reed. This is a really nice run here from Reed Cat though. Just the one miss so far. On pick 6, Arnold landed a critical breakpoint with a huge combo. Oh, that's going to be the slip for Reed Cat there. The comeback potential is surely over now. That's the halfway point too. Arnold is still holding full combo. Through the solo. And that's this point is looking really bad here for Reed Cat on his own pick too. But Arnold still holding the FC. Finally drops it on the linear, but this was followed up by another one miss play. He has a slider break there from Reed Cat. All eyes here on Arnold though. Reed Cat needed to win this 8th pick, and accuracy saved him so hard. He's dropping too much act though, but he's still holding combo, Arnold. Huh? Oh, he finds the break there, he takes the lead, 3k. Thank you, 3k, it's the slow part, gotta watch this Ak. Reed Cat takes the lead on Ak. But if you perform like Arnold, your victory is probably deserved. Reed gets bronze medal. It doesn't stop, it only gets more ridiculous from here. Dude, he's still going. He's still going. What is this Arnold? Dude, what was that? Arnold's dream lives on, and he was here to force the bracket reset, holy moly. Whatever. It's going to be running out of stamina at the end there, but like... Whatever, dude, okay. I don't, e I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> All of his act drops came from one burst. And the rest of it he pretty much SS. I do not understand how a double FC can happen at this grand final stage. Arnold does manage to find a miss at the very end here. Karcher is still holding, holding on to the FC. So this is still possible for Arnold to lose. Or we could just see a double FC on this map. That also works too. This is eight stars, by the way. And okay. Yeah, whatever. I'm done commentating. I'll see you guys later. They both played really well, thus some close picks occurred. I think that's really all I need to say. Karch are going to be dropping a miss very early on in that part, and just like that, the score gap is already at 50k. Despite the uh, recovered combo from Karch, are actually kind of going off on some of these patterns. Wait. I was actually kind of crazy from Karcher to hit some of those patterns there, but not going to really matter too much. This in the last section of the map here, and Arnold keeps this combo. This could get very scary real fast. I think luckily for Karcher, that doesn't seem like that's going to be happening, though. Both players have seen that ending. But a very, very narrow win. Arnold was able to force the bracket reset. He came out hot again with a near FC. Wants to take this point still, and if Karcher wants to take it, he needs to FC through this ending. But, uh, okay, I guess both these players are feeling pretty confident right now. Arnold still holding on to the FC. Can he FC the ending is the main question of the day. We'll see right now as we get into the space part. Nope, there it goes. Goodbye. With a huge 4-0 run, Arnold looked unstoppable. Another reunion FC. Yep. This is uh, going about as well as I expected it to.
And Arnold looking to secure another FC on this map in tournament. Karcha got two points back, but it wasn't easy for him at all. Both of them missing at the end though, it's going to be keeping it the exact same. Oh my god, wait, Karcher dropping again, Arnold dropping again, everyone is missing at the ending here, and there's barely enough map left, and it's just so close. This is literally down to who gets the least amount of 100s during this last part of the map. And right now, it's just looking barely like Karcher is going to barely get it. On pick 9, Arnold was able to convert his first match point. After this performance, his biggest solo win is super deserved. He's gonna be finding a miss at the end here, but Karcher trades it, and I think with that, that is a GG at this point. Karcher is now second place. Arnold gets the trophy, Karcher receives silver, and Recat reaches podium. Please see the results here. Also, this is the current state of the CC points rankings. We do have the first finalists, but I will talk about that in a separate video. Thanks for watching as always. Corsair's Open is the last CC tournament, but before I'll release a quick update on Circle Circuit. See you then.